Hello, my first graders. Today we're working on lesson 3.7. That's page 167. So if you're not on page 167, you want to pause the video and find that now. Okay. It says, what is 10 plus 5? Use circles and the 10 frame. Model and draw to solve. Okay, so listen to the problem I'm going to read. Allie has 10 red apples in a bag. She has three yellow apples next to the bag. How many apples does Allie have? All right, so we're gonna model that out and I'm actually going to use a red and a yellow to show you. So if you need to, why don't we pause, go get a red and a yellow so that you, are, you can match mine. All right, so if you're back, that means you have a red and a yellow. If you didn't have a red and a yellow, you know it can always be something that is similar. Okay, so if Allie has 10 red apples, I'm going to start with my 10 frame, and I'm going to make 10 circles. Now, boy, I did that fast, right? Well, that is because if this is a 10 frame, how many squares do you think is in a 10 frame? I hope you said 10. <laughs> there are 10 squares in a 10 frame. Okay, got its name because it's a 10, has 10 frames or 10 squares. So when it says that she has 10 red apples, that means I can fill this whole thing up with circles because it equals 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, she has five apples next to the bag. So here's my five yellow apples. Oh, and you can't see my yellow, so guess what? I'm gonna use my pen. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, how many does she have all together? Well, boys and girls, we are gonna work on counting on from the number 10. So you ready? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 10 plus five equals 15, okay? So we actually have, let me show you what this is. We have 10 from the 10 frame, and that actually sh shows up here for, with that one. And then we have five down here, so it's 15. 10 plus five is 15. So for those of you who are, you understand, Okay, how we got 15. Remember, this is 10, so we don't need to count these all over again. This is one group of 10, and then we count on. If you need to pause, you can. If not, we're turning the page. Okay, so we will be using our 10 frame today. We are counting on from 10. So it says you can use a 10 frame to add 10 plus 6. So here is 10 plus six, and it equals 16. So if we have 10, we put a circle in each box, right? Remember 10 frame, that means there's 10 squares. Then we had six that don't fit in here, so we had to put them down here. So we can count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 10 plus six is 16. Okay. I'm just gonna use my pen for this instead of my crayon. But if you wanna use your crayon to draw to draw your circles, you can. You can start with one color in the box, right? Because remember, we always make it match. So one would be one color. Actually, you know what, I will do that. I'll use my red, and I can't use yellow because you can't see it, so I'll use my pen. So we have 10 plus three. Well, we wanna fill our 10 frame First. So if our first number is 10, that means we need a circle in each square of our 10 frame. Okay. We have 10 plus how many more? How many do we need? Three. Well, they're not going to fit my 10 frame, so I put them down there. So I have 10 plus three more. So I can count on, put 10 in my head, 
10, 11, 12, 13. So 10 plus 3 is 13. I know I make my circles fast, so if you need to pause at any time, go ahead and do that. All right, 10 plus 5. Well, our first thing is our 10 frame, right? So if we have the number 10, we can fill up every square. So let's make our 10. Plus five more. So remember, five isn't going to fit in our 10 frame. They have to go underneath. Right, so we fill our 10 frame up first, and then we go underneath. 10 plus 5. Well, we don't need to count these all over again. We know this is 10, so let's count on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 10 plus 5 is 15. Let's look at the next one. 10 plus 1. So Here's our number 10. So that means we can fill up a whole 10 frame. Make those circles. Right? A whole 10 frame. Plus 1. So this one goes underneath. All right. If we have 10 and we get one more, what comes after 10? 10. 10. 11. Now my first graders, if you are someone who is having trouble and is having trouble counting on from 10 and if you need to go back and recount these, you can. If you can't think of what comes after 10 when you're counting and you need to go back and count so you hear it in order, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? So if you need to go back and go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. You can do that, okay? But if you don't need to do that, try going from 10 and counting on, okay? It makes it a little faster for you. So let's look at this one, 10 plus 2. So again, we start off with filling our 10 frame. So we'll put our 10 circles in. Okay, 10 plus how many more? Two. So we put our two circles underneath. Okay, we have 10 plus two. So let's put 10 in our head and we'll count on. 10, 11, 12. So 10 plus two is 12. Now, I want to point something out before we go on. Did you notice each time when we have 10 plus a number, we always have a teen number, has a one in the front, and then we have, have whatever our other number is. Did you notice that, 10 and five? So we have the one and the five, 15, 10 and one. We have the one and then the one from here, 10 plus two, the one from our 10, and then our other number, too. All right, boys and girls, I would like you to try number five and number six with those red check marks, okay? So you're going to pause. You're going to do five and six. Hit play when you're done to check your work. Okay, let's see how you did. If you're hitting play, that means you finished five and six and you're ready to check. All right, so you had 10 plus four, so you should have filled in this 10 frame, plus four more, so you had four at the bottom. All right, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Did you have 14? If you didn't, check to make sure your circles match, and also maybe you wanna go back to the beginning and recount, so pause if you need to do that. Then you had 10 plus seven. Well, you had all 10 filled in. Okay, plus seven more that didn't fit in the 10 frame. 
10 plus 7 is 17. You can put 10 in your head and count on 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. All right, boys and girls. Next, I would like you to try 7 and 8, 9 and 10. I want you to try these four problems. Okay. Draw your circles. Put your answers in. So pause, hit play when you're finished. Okay, if you're hitting play now, it's because you finished your problems. You did number seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's take a look. So our first ones, we had seven and eight, right? Number seven and eight, 10 plus eight. You should have had 18. You filled up your 10 frame, you had eight underneath, and when you counted them, you had 18. 10 plus 2 equals 12. You filled your 10 frame. You had 2 underneath. Okay, you counted them. It equaled 12. Okay, then we had 10 plus 6, which equals 16. Filled your 10 frame, 6 underneath. 10 plus 9, you filled your 10 frame. You had 9 underneath, 19. Okay, if you need to pause to fix something, you can do that now. If not, we're going to look at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick peek. So this says add. Okay, now they don't have our 10 frame. Okay, they took away the 10 frame. What they want you to do is put 10 in your head and count on. So if we have 10 and we get one more, what do you have? 10, 11. Oh, four plus 10. Well, it doesn't matter what order, right? 10's our biggest number. Put 10 in your head, four on your fingers. Count on, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I'm gonna have you pause, okay? And finish filling out 13, 14, 15. I want you to put your answers in for these. Hit play when you're done. Okay, you had five plus 10. You should have had 15. Put 10 in your head, count on five more. 10 plus three, 10 in your head, three more, 13. All right, hopefully you didn't get tricked on this one. Zero plus 10. So you had 10 in your head and you get no more. So your answer is 10. Okay, so it's like putting 10 in your head and you've got nothing else. 10. I'm done. All right, so if you need to pause to fix something, you can. If not, we're gonna take a look at math on the spot. It says draw circles to show 10. Draw yellow circles to show the missing add-in. Write the missing add-in. Okay, so we have 10 plus something equals 14. So let's start with 10. Oh, we can fill our 10 frame, right? So 10 plus, so we have 10, so 10 goes in our 10 frame. We fill it all the way up. Okay, so you're filling your 10 frame. Plus something, so we don't know how many circles we need, but we need to get to 14. So if I have 10 here, can I add another one down here? What do I have now? 10, 11, well, not there yet, add another one. 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <gasps> did I get to 14? I did. How many circles did I need to make down here? Four. I made four more circles. So 10 plus four equals 14. All right, if you need to pause, go ahead and do that. If not, I'll turn the page. Okay, it says draw circles. Write the addition sentence. Explain your model. So let's see. Marina has 10 crayons. She gets 
seven more crayons. Oh, well, so she's getting more, so it's a plus problem. How many crayons does she have now? All right, so she has 10 crayons and she gets seven more, so that's a plus problem. Let's write it in here. 10 plus seven equals blank. So now let's make our problem. So we start with 10, so that means we fill out this whole 10 frame. Okay, we have our 10 plus seven more. So how many more circles do we need to make? Seven, we'll put them at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 10 plus seven is 17. Okay, so it says explain your model. Well, how do we get our answer? So let's talk about that. How do we get 10 plus seven? Well, we filled our 10 frame and we counted on seven more. That was the strategy we used. Fill our 10 frame and then count on seven more. All right, we don't need to write that in. It says match the models to the number sentences. Okay, so take a look at these pictures down here. We need to decide which model, which number model does it match to? What is this problem showing? We filled up our 10 frame, right? So we have 10 red plus how many more? Two, which one do they show 10 plus two? The middle one, 10 plus two equals 12. So we are going to draw a line to match them. Okay. Look at the next one. Where does that go? How do we match that? Now look at our 10 frame, 10 plus, how many are down here? Four, 10 plus four. 10 plus four equals 14. And our last one, 10 plus how many down here? One, two, three, four, five. 10 plus five equals 15. All right, very good boys and girls. So now you're gonna work on your personal math trainer.